From John Glenn to Neil Armstrong, <laughs> America's most famous astronauts have been men. But one woman is changing that. Peggy Whitson has spent more time in space than any other NASA astronaut. And now, in retirement, she's going back. Mark Strassman spoke with her about launching into a new frontier, commercial space flight. In Peggy Whitson's dreams, she floats. Her dream is always about space, and it's about to come true again. You know, of course, I dreamed of wanting to go, but you never know exactly how long that process is going to take. And so, you know, luckily I'm not dead and I'm going back. <laughs> and welcome on board the International Space Station. Whitson has spent more time in space than any American in history. 665 days, almost two years. In 2008, she became the space station's first female commander. Whitson has also made 10 spacewalks. No other American has more. Sometime late next year, she'll head back up, but for the first time, flying private for a company called Axiom Space. What's left for you to do up there? Maybe there's just the, the desire to see the Earth again, to have that perspective. Have you missed that view from 250 yeah. miles up? Oh, absolutely. Axiom's business is space mission management. Its first flight to the ISS, called AX-1, will fly four civilians on a SpaceX Crew Dragon next January. Now 61, Whitson will command AX-2. Her pilot, John Schaffner, an entrepreneur, race car driver, and veteran civilian pilot. Two other crew members have yet to be named. How is the challenge different for a commander when the crew is all amateur astronauts. You know, you can teach people what they need to know to be safe. If there were an emergency, would the crew be comfortable in responding? I will make sure that they get enough training to be that way. Trust me. <laughs> Ignition. And lift off. We're in a new frontier of commercial space flight with players like SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, and Axiom. More civilians will head to space, like Whitson. Final hugs as she departs the space station. Who thought she was earthbound after retiring from NASA in 2018. Will this be your last time? You, I hope not. <laughs> Realizing a dream often means reaching for the stars. Peggy Whitson is proof of that. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. Go Peggy Whitson, wow. Say bravo, Peggy Whitson. Yeah. Listen, if you're a civilian crew crew person, wouldn't you feel good knowing that Peggy Whitson is yes, on board with you? Yes, you bet. Absolutely. Can, uh, you imagine, can you imagine the songs you could write, the music you could write if you were just floating around Tom <laughs> in space, John Petit? Oh, my The way goodness. your brain works? Yeah, I, I feel like one day that's going to happen. You do? I'm, I'm going to call it out now. I'm going to claim that. I'm going to play in space. Yeah. You want to go? That'd be great. I want to go with Peggy Whitson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you know? But we can say on this date you're calling out, you're going to space. That's right. Yeah. All right. You just got to be on. careful your piano doesn't end up yeah. like Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> right. We don't want that.